in Munich for about a day and a half. So I'm going to show you what I ate, although it's not going to be a lot of restaurants. It's mainly just going to be two. Richard, it's, oh my God. God, everything looks so good. And they also have locations at the train station, which I'm going to show you at the end of the Richard part. But if you go to the Munich uh, restaurant, there's a downstairs area and there's an upstairs area. What you're seeing is upstairs, way less people. Downstairs, it was so crowded. I couldn't even get a video of uh, what's, what's on the menu, what they have in front of me. This is the upstairs area. We have tables here. And here's the menu. Now it's not very cheap, but it's like affordable. I think it's very touristy price in this specific restaurant. I mean, coffee, 620 for a large coffee. And it's a little, a little bit much. So I just realized something. Um, the cake I'm ordering downstairs to go, it costs four euros, 10 cents. And, um, but I sat down and I, ordered it and she was like punching it in the order in front of me right here so i was able to see the price and it said buy something and then we we're like thinking like hmm, why is it different and at the end it says that uh service fee is already included in the price of whatever you're ordering not on your bill additional so don't, it's already inside yeah. yeah so the tip is already in the price so let's see right here the coffee big is 610 the tip is already in that price it's not gonna be added to your receipt as a service fee or a tip but people do know and they so, pay extra yeah. yeah ordered a hot chocolate and it came with some whipped cream that I had to taste on my own it was not sweet uh, I wasn't sure why there's sugar with my hot chocolate, but it's not as sweet as in America. So it's a little, little, little bitter. So if you like a hot chocolate or really sweet, you might need some sugar. I've been hunting for a marzipan cake and I finally found it. Marzipan on the outside. Fruity, moist, soft, but the bottom is a little bit crispier. I think there's like um little rice krispies wrapped in chocolate inside. And then we have like these yellowish um, berries. Very tasty. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the um, apple. Apple pecan, I think. Not, oh, oh my god, I took a little bit too yeah, much. This is this, this. Oh, with cream. Okay, this is not fun. Ah, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I would like to make that at home. Mm -hmm. It seems like it's easy to make. Like what? The total for a tea, a hot chocolate, the pie, and my cake was 21 euros and 70 cents, and tip is already included. This has been on my list. Ah, on my list for weeks. That one. Finally got this. Good. It's like a hazelnut Nutella. nougat. Nutella. No, it's like a kind of like a nougat cream twisted with pretzel. However, it's not pretzel dough. It's puff pastry dough. And then they put a shaved almonds and then a layer of glaze, like the powdered sugar glaze that they put on a top of our palm cake. Okay, we have a palm pastry dough at home. You can try to make this. Before leaving Germany, I had to stop by some pretzels. I don't know if it's gonna be as good as in Rotenburg, but hopefully. This is Richard, which is the bakery I was at when I, we were in Munich. I asked them to warm it up and it's so much better. Okay, this is the biggest beer house in Germany. It can fit 1,500 people at the same time and we have to come here. They have both English and German menu. When you come in, you have to find yourself a seat and you're going to be sitting with different uh, people so strangers all together um the first seat we found was well there were like two empty seats at a table but um they were like no you cannot sit here 
so I was like kind of rude they were not Germans um, but eventually we found some seats and expect per person to pay around like 20 25 euros in case you order beer the food is pretty cheap it's not a, a whole lot of food but it's like really 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 good food so this is what I'm ordering the schnitzel 1750 <laughs> Lucky you. <laughs> I wanted to show you how loud it was in there. So one of the beers we ordered was this Hof brow original which was the the shorter one and then the taller one was this dark beer for also seven seven fifty it was pretty good and this is a schnitzel underneath the breading there's like um they, they brushed it with horseradish which i've never had and it was very interesting very tasty my mom got a sausage plate and um, there was a potato salad with my schnitzel which was delicious really really good but the schnitzel takes the trophy it was so good uh, it was pretty thin and the breading was thin too <laughs> this place but if you have like severe social anxiety this is probably not the best option for you but otherwise it was such a good vibe loved it and the food amazing <laughs> 